Your answer, please. Um, yes, indeed, the president has asked for space, um, and uh, we have accommodated, we're planning to accommodate this request. We will target a slightly lower primary uh, balance next year. Um, as to where the space gets used, and that's a very important question, it's important to spend money on social protection. And this is one area where the results have been disappointing. Uh, social protection should never have been an afterthought. In fact, when the IMF has recommended the removal of fuel subsidies, phasing out of electricity subsidies, and other measures, on, on one hand, at the same time, there was supposed to be uh, support for, for the population in terms of social protection programs. We have a floor. I don't know if people realize this is the area where the fund asks the government to spend more. It's a very different line item compared to all the others. In others, we say, let's consolidate. In this one, we say, please spend more. This is where there has been some underperformance, unfortunate underperformance, and efforts should be step up to meet the targets for end year, uh, and also to make sure that the money reaches to the, the right people, and that the value of those payments are not eroded by inflation. So we have had those discussions uh, with the president, and uh, he is planning to take this situation to heart. We also asked for more transparency on social protection spending so that the Ministry of Social Affairs publishes on its website um, how many households in each district received uh, the payments so that there is also accountability to the public and also explain on the website who is eligible so that the person reads and says, I'm eligible, why didn't they get it? So there should be accountability uh, for this. Um, and of course, uh, to spend money wisely on infrastructure, that's another important goal. Uh, we have also discussed wages. And uh, our opinion is that the public sector salaries are scandalously low. It is not right that the teacher has to rely on tutoring just to make ends meet that her salary has been degraded with inflation to such extent. But it is also important to keep in mind there is also a lot of waste. One of the conditionalities under the program is to get rid of ghost workers. 18% of the public workforce are not registered in the system. And the population should demand change and accountability. It's a waste and it's also demoralizing because if you are in the public service and you're working hard and you know that a bunch of people are receiving money for doing nothing, that is not right and it is outright theft and let's call things as they are. So you should not feel sorry for those people. And if you can get rid of ghost workers, there is more space for proper wage increase. So. That, that, is, that, is, that is extremely important. And I know it is easy to say, oh, it's because the fund that our salaries are low. No, because it's of the waste and of the people who are just pocketing money without working. So that's where your righteous anger should be directed towards. And at the same time, the government needs the revenues to run its business. And that comes the VAT, for example. It is impossible to have the perfect law. And you can have paralysis by democracy. You can postpone and postpone until everybody is happy. But let's face it, nobody likes to pay taxes. Nobody will ever be happy. But every time you postpone, you're losing potential revenues that could be directed to pay salaries, including for those unions that are protesting, and to pay social protection payments to the poor and vulnerable who are suffering. Let me end like that. 
I have...